What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Steve Bukin. <laughs> and I'm laughing because the further I go down this sim racing rabbit hole, the more I start to think I should have bought that motorcycle instead. <laughs> I haven't had a product piss me off this much in a long time. The thing that almost had me put a hole in the wall is the Butt Kicker Gamer 2. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because I'm still fuming over this thing. <laughs> I've had my Butt Kicker Gamer 2 for about two weeks now. It sent me back around $170 after shipping and taxes. And pretty much what I think it does is vibrate using uh, sound frequencies from whatever uh, game or sim that I'm playing, uh, you know, to help add another layer of immersion. What came in the box is the shaker, the amplifier, the corded remote, and all the connecting cables. Um, I had to purchase a mounting bracket separately though, uh, which was around $60. I know that's expensive for just a plain piece of metal. But I started the install with bolting the mounting bracket onto my rig because um, I thought it was going to be the hardest part, but it actually turned out to be the easiest. I have the Track Racer RS8 Mach 5 rig, which is a uh, prefab rig. And Track Racer makes a uh, bracket specifically for mounting the butt kicker too. So if you're using a prefabricated rig, your setup may already have a mounting point built into it. If not, check with the manufacturer of your rig. I'm pretty sure uh, they sell mounting brackets for a butt kicker setup. I think it's the 8020 guys that might have to get a little creative when trying to mount a uh, butt kicker to their setup. So uh, yeah, man, what was supposed to be a simple plug and play install turned into a two hour cussing session. <laughs> I mean, the directions sucked. I've gotten better install of directions from Ikea. But for real, I shouldn't even have needed uh, directions for this thing. But I'm an idiot. And it didn't help that the cores didn't easily fit into place. It got to the point where I was so pissed, I said, F*** it, and just jammed them into the sockets. <laughs> So yeah, man, after I got uh, all the hardware hooked up, it was time for the software side of things. Uh, the instruction manual said to download an app called Voice Meter, uh, which I did need. Uh, the Voice Meter app allows me to run uh, the Butt Kicker 2 and have sound output through my speakers at the same time. The second app I downloaded was SimHub. This app was not in the instruction manual. I got this app from the Sim Racing community. From what I understand, SimHub is supposed to let me fine tune the performance of the Butt Kicker Gamer 2, uh, but I've been messing around with the settings in this app, and I honestly I can't tell if it's actually doing anything or not. So yeah, man, after getting all the hardware and software installed, I was ready to go, right? Wrong. <laughs> I booted up a game and nothing. This thing was not working. I checked all my connections and restarted my PC and still nothing. Uh, the apps were reading sound, but there was no action from the butt kicker. Man, I spent about 45 minutes trying to figure out what was wrong, and I was starting to think that I might have bought a dud. And just as I was about to throw this thing back in the box and start the refund process, my little peanut brain got an idea. I thought, let's hop on YouTube and play the most bassiest song that I know. <laughs> I know I know, bassy is not a word, but we gonna roll with it. <laughs> So I throw on Lancey Foe's Psych Man, and out of nowhere, this thing comes to life like Johnny Five and Short Circuit, man. <laughs> so I'm guessing this thing needs a good kick in the ass to get going uh, when using it for the first time. Hell, I don't know. Uh, but after uh, tuning the dials on the amp, it was up and running just fine. It's been doing so ever since. It seems to work better with some titles than it does with others, so I do have to play around with the intensity on the remote quite a bit. I have heard people complain about the heat. I haven't had any heat coming from the actual shaker. The only heat I've noticed has been coming from the amp. The amp does get a little warm, but I haven't had any temperatures that would raise any red flags. But uh, yeah, I still need to play around with it, but I am enjoying my purchase so far. It is a nice final touch to my uh, sim racing setup. Uh, but yeah, man, that's my two cents review of the uh, Butt Kicker Gamer 2. If you want a more in-depth review, I'll try to leave one or two videos down in the description box. So uh, yeah, check those out down there. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. It's Debukin. I'm out.